All right, so then uh, we have Priest, right? Priest down here somewhere? Uh, okay, here's Priest. Uh, we'll take a look at Priest. We'll take a look at Priest. I must admit, I think uh, I think Priest is what's going to excite me the most because we're, we're looking for the classes that like are getting a huge overhaul because that's more fun, you know? Uh, may just seem basically the same. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? There's nothing wrong with that, but... Yeah. All right. Um, all right, so Holy. 2.5 second cast for heal. That's pretty... Uh, pretty pretty long a slow but efficient spell that heals an ally for a moderate amount i think that's actually what it is now lower your bitrate it should it should be nothing to do with my bitrate man no i'm not i'm not paypaling you any money dude like who the fuck do you think you are it's a point of ice block if no one using spec and coil i know dude exactly all right flash heal 1.5 a fast expensive spell that heals an ally for a moderate amount okay so i guess that the big heal and the little heal are going to be the same i don't really like that change I liked it when the big heal healed for more and the little heal healed for less, personally. Uh, Holy Word Serenity. One minute cooldown. Perform a miracle, healing an ally for an absolutely massive amount. So, Holy Priest now have NS, it looks like to me. That's what I'm reading. Uh, prayer healing, 2.5 second cast. Powerful prayer that heals up to five injured allies. Pretty sa standard stuff here. So, the only new thing is uh, the Serenity is going to be NS for Priest. Prayer Mending, still 1.5 second cast, which I'm kind of disappointed to see. Uh, places a spell on party reader, uh, heals for a moderate amount. What's moderate mean? Um, like, is it... If Prayer Mending is still really underwhelming next expansion, I'm going to be sad. Because Prayer Mending, uh, they confirm that crit is 100% HP. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I'm kind of disappointed to see that Prayer Mending has been just, like, stripped down so hard. Prayer Mending used to be such a strong, such a strong heal, you know? So I hope it heals for a pretty strong amount. One second. Alright, um... Wait, what the fuck? Holy Word Sanctify. Uh, release Miraculous Light into a target, healing up to 6 allies within 10 yards for a huge amount. So you have a huge AoE, AoE heal. Holy Priest, biggest heal in the game? Interesting. Uh, renew. Instant, okay. Minor amount and then a large amount over 15 seconds. Okay, renew is still there. Uh, serendipity. When you cast a flash heal, the cooldown of Holy Word Serenity is reduced. When you cast Prayer Healing, the cooldown of Prayer Mending, um, the cooldown of Holy Word Sanctify is reduced. So flash heal is Serenity reduced. Uh, prayer Mending, Prayer Healing is Sanctify is reduced. So the the single target heals reduce the cooldown of the big single target heal. The AOE heals reduce the cooldown of the big AOE heal, which is good. Alright, so Renew is the same. Uh, we went over Serendipity. Uh, Mastery, increase your direct uh, heal spells for an additional 25%. Uh, I'm kind of glad to see they got rid of that really fucking dumb shitty hot that the Mastery was before, and they're increasing like your your uh, direct healing spells. I kind of like that. So, Holy Priest is designed around direct healing again. Um, so, a different a chance of a, or a, a preview of a spec choice would be 3 minute cooldown, enter a pure holy form for 30 seconds, increasing the effects of serendipity by 200%. So, would this be, you know, a, a huge fucking reduction? Wow. So, you could probably just, like, literally almost spam, almost spam serenity with, like, 2 or 3 flash heals. That's pretty crazy. Um, it's kind of a cool talent. So, priest is, like, holy priest is getting a pretty big overhaul. I, can, I can't say I was ever really a big fan of chakras. I don't know if you guys like chakras. Uh, for Holy Priest. I didn't really like Chakra. So, I'm kind of happy they're kind of just removing them. Alright, so the moment we've been waiting for, Shadow Priest. The complete fucking overhaul. It's going to be absolutely 100% different. Uh, mana is gone. It's all going to be about insanity. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, Alright, Void Form. Passive. When you reach 100 sanity, you enter a Void Form, transforming your, uh, your mind spells into Void spells and increasing your shadow damage by 30%. Um, while in void form, you gain 2% haste every one second. Holy shit. Uh, this haste will also persist for 20 seconds after void form ends. Uh, void form causes your insanity to constantly drain faster and faster until completely drained uh, and void form ends. So, one thing we have to note about this is it sounds like void form automatically activates, which kind of uh, removes one of like the scripted aspects of WoW. So, it's not like demon form where you get a fuck ton of uh, demon fury and then you just press it and use all your burst, you know? Your uh, your void form is going to be kind of like mistimed with some cooldowns and stuff like that. You know, like if your team's trying to set up a CC chain and you have blind in 30 seconds, but void form comes up, like, you know, right now, you know, it might throw off your things. Your, it might throw off your, uh, 
your shit a little bit. So it's, from what I understand, I think you don't activate it. I think you automatically turn into it, which I kind of like. I kind of like the fact that it's not going to be scripted. Um, you know, it just kind of happens. So that's pretty cool. So you gain 30% damage in void form, which is pretty awesome. Um, you gain 2% haste every single second, and it lasts for 20 seconds after void form. This might be kind of important to, uh, you know, build your void form back up if you get a lot of VTs and Shadow Word pains out. I assume that'll uh, give you insanity, but we'll have to find out. Um, also, like, you know, I, I assume casting your damage, like, you know, you'll get your mind blast off easier. Pretty cool. Uh, salt the target, mind flay. Um, so it's just damage over three seconds reduce reduces movement speed. Pretty standard. All right, we gotta we gotta space in on this game though. We gotta space in this game. Um, all right, so mind flay is the same. Um, while in void form, transfers into transforms into void flay, which also extends shadow Word pain by three seconds. Um, so okay, that's kind of cool. It helps you keep your dots up. That's probably more of a PVE thing. Um, mind blast. Hold the phone, guys. Mind blast. One point five second cast time. I didn't think it could be done. I didn't think it could be done. You have to cast Mind Blast once again. Let's get some smiles on the faces, boys. Uh, nine second cooldown. That's pretty long. Uh, blast the target's mind for strong shadow damage. Who would have guessed that's what Mind Blast does? Uh, generates 15 insanity. And how much do you need? You need 100 to get to full. Okay. Uh, while in void form, transforms transforms into Void Blast, which has a 4.5 second cooldown. So it's half the cast or half the cooldown. Um, also extends vampiric touch by three seconds. That seems pretty relevant. That seems pretty relevant, even in PvP. Um, okay, so vampiric touch, a touch of darkness that causes huge shadow damage. Wow, are they? It looks like they're actually putting uh, damage back into uh, dots, which is good. Uh, damage over 24 seconds and heals the priest for each point of damage dealt. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I really, really think that's cool because it's not an overpowered heal mechanic like Ysera's Gift. You have to do damage in order to get damage, and, uh, you know, it's castable, it's dispellable, there's ways to counter it. I think that's, uh, I think that's good design right there. The Vampiric Touch is dispelled, flees in horror. Uh, each time temp uh, Vampiric Touch deals damage, it generates three insanity. Okay, so Mind Blast and, uh, and VT give insanity. A word of darkness causes minor shadow damage instantly, an additional huge amount over 18 seconds. So once again, putting some of that damage into dot damage again. Each time the shadow word pain deals damage, it generates three insanity and has a 10% chance to reset the cooldown mind blast. Okay, that's cool. So insanity uh, is generated from mind blast. All right, we need to figure out mind blast, VT, and shadow pain. Let's yeah, the shadow priest changes look pretty fucking sick, man. It looks really cool. Um, let's see what else we got here. Increase the damage and insanity generation of your Mind Blast, Shadow Word Pain, VT, and Shadow Word Death. Okay, that's cool. So you, more damage on your abilities and more uh, insanity. So Mastery is going to be really fucking good. And uh, just an example of what you can get. Two minute cooldown, let the power of the void flow through you, instantly generating 100 insanity. I'm going to be honest, I don't like that. I don't I don't like that talent one bit. That's, uh, that's kind of going back to what Blizzard, you know, is just... It's just giving... So the priest right now seems really well designed and it has like a big ramp up time, but this right here is just swifty one shot macro. Like you instantly get 100 insanity, you instantly do 30% more damage, you instantly get that huge haste buff, and uh, I don't like this talent. I must say, I feel like that's uh, going back to the cooldown, you know, the cooldown uh, kind of like class balance thing where everyone just fucking runs in and pops one shot macros. And priest was never actually a class like that, and now they have one, so that's kind of disappointing to see actually. And then uh, dis priest, we can uh, go over this in a second, but. By the way, dis, al dis also reworked? Yep, I know. I wonder if you can build up Insanity Burst then use the cooldown to go insane again. What do you mean? Oh yeah, that's interesting. So you could you could do two... You could basically go... You could go get full Insanity and use the cooldown and be insane for even longer. So, I don't know. Oh man. Alright, so let's, uh, let's take a look at Discipline while we have some time. We get to talk to chat a little bit. Um... Alright, so... Atonement. Um... Is passive. Plea, powered shield, and shadow men also apply atonement to your target for 15 seconds. Okay, so if you use plea, if you use powered shield, or if you use a shadow men, you apply atonement to your target for 15 seconds. Interesting. All right. Uh, when you deal damage, you instantly heal all, all targets affected by atonement for 50% of the damage done. Okay. So if you shield someone, if you um, Shadow Mend, or you please someone, you put a Tomen up on them, and uh, when you deal damage, half of the uh, damage will be done. That's pretty cool. Um, 
So what are we doing about what are we doing against this? I think our glyphs are fine versus this. Um, well, we'll look more into disc in a second here. Okay, let's go back to disc. All right. So when you when you deal damage, um, you instantly heal all targets affected by atonement. Uh, healing is not split between atonement targets. Uh, the more allies you have atonement up on, the more total healing that uh, damage spell will cause. Okay. So it's not like if you hit someone for a hundred and you have three atonements, it'll do, you know, fucking like twelve healing or whatever. It'll do fifty on each of them. So that's pretty good. So 50, 50, 50. So the more people you have atonement on, the more healing you actually do. That's pretty cool. Uh, increase the healing transfer through atonement. Uh, that's the mastery. Plea is instant. A quick, efficient uh, plea to heal uh, an ally for a minor amount. So plea basically seems to me like use this to put atonement on the target. Um, try to use more denounces. I'm just CC'd so often. I could try to. Like I, I have to deal with so many interrupts too, but some of them are instant. But yeah, okay, so... Uh, Shadow Man, 1.5 second cast. Um, yeah, they will take minor damage every one second. So Shadow Mend is basically flash shield with a shield tied into it. But if the shield doesn't break, the shield just dissipates after 15 seconds. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, it's a cool, it's a cool ability. Powered shield, same thing. Six second cooldown. Um, it's gonna be weird playing priest and not being able to spam shield, but I think it's fine. Uh, Radiance, 2.5 second cast, ca uh, cast a burst of light. Heals a friendly target and their five nearest al allies and applies atonement for 50% of its normal duration. Okay, so it puts up a short atonement. Uh, smite. Smite an enemy for moderate damage. Mind blast. Um, blast the target's mind for strong damage. Okay. Penance. Cause, causing huge holy damage. Wow. So penance is actually probably going to be used defensively more than defensively. That's interesting. Um, your Smite Mind Blast cast have a 30% chance to reset the cooldown on Penance, okay? So you're going to use that a lot. Shattered Pain causes minor shadow damage instantly and an additional huge amount over 18 seconds. That's cool. Um, increases your non-atonement healing and absorption by 30% on targets with atonement. This is the build. Okay. So, I mean, I kind of like the changes. You know, some of the stuff that's not being changed just seems pretty generic, like mages. Um, but, like, Priest is completely redone. Penance will not heal. Oh, penance only deals damage. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Wow, interesting. I don't. I don't actually like that at all. Now that. Ah, uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I feel like there should still be a decision, but whatever. Penance has always been a heal. Ugh, that feels kind of rough. That feels kind of rough. It feels very weird, you know. Yeah. You know, what if like like what if you're just behind the pillar? You know what I mean? And you just can't penance your partner. All I want is death back. Yeah, I think they really need to bring death back. Are you going to reroll Demon Hunter? I'm definitely going to play Demon Hunter, man. There's no more weakened soul. There's no weakened soul, but shield is a six second cooldown. So it means you could just shield someone every six seconds. Interesting. Priest need to uh, rework. Don't be reworked. Don't bitch. I just think it's weird that... Uh, I like the redesign of Priest. I just think it's weird that you can't penance your partners. It just seems very strange. You know? Just, just giving my opinion, you know. If I don't like something, I'm allowed to say that. You know, freedom of speech. You must be EU, Kappa. Uh, what penance is my favorite healing spell? Mine too, but I mean, I like using it for damage. I just think it's going to feel really clunky not being able to use it heal, like being behind a pillar or something, like line of sighting. But yeah. 